G'day. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 65 of The Fine Art of Distraction. So, on today's episode, I've decided to do something that's a little bit outside my comfort zone, and I'm, I've chosen a colour that I'm not really familiar with. Now, it's not that I don't like this particular colour, it's that I just don't use it all that often, so... Um, it's a little bit outside my comfort zone. <laughs> but before I tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing um, today, I've got to show you the dry result of the little mandala that I did because I absolutely love the thing! How awesome is this? This is so cool. I love this thing. I think I've found my new niche, if that's the right word. My new niche. <laughs> How cool is that? Now, it's, it's still not resined yet because um, really you, you should wait a, at least a week um, to, to resin it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait a couple of weeks just so um, the colors actually have a really good chance to cure. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely am going to be resining this um, along with the first rock that I did as well. Now, um, I'm actually really, really liking doing um, the mandala dot paintings. Um, so what I've actually decided to start doing is I'm going to do um, some fluid art or resin art one week. And on the off week, I'm going to do some mandala dot work just because I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. And I, I highly recommend giving it a go. It's so much fun. And when you get in that um, in the zone, it's like if you've got tunnel vision on, all you can see is just like the the dots in front of you and you just keep going and going and going. So it's so much fun. So give it a go. You. <laughs> Alrighty. So as I said before, I'm going to be doing a pour that um, I'm using a color that's not really familiar to, to me. Um, I'm not going to tell you what color it is just yet. When I show you the products, then you'll see what color it is. But I've decided to do a dirty pour. And basically a dirty pour is where you get all your all your paints and you literally just pour all your paints into one cup um, without being delicate. Um, so then therefore the paints actually um, do sort of mix a little bit, um, but there is still separation between the colors. Alrighty guys, now that I've shown you the dry result and also told you what I'm gonna be doing today, which is a dirty pour using a color that I'm not really familiar with and it's a little bit outside my comfort zone. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so now let's head over to the other table. I'll show you what products I'm gonna be using and then yeah, let's get into it. Thanks guys. Alrighty then, so here's all the products we're gonna be using today. And as you can see, there's not many products at all. The acrylic paints that I'm gonna be using are from Global Colors and the colors are black, antique gold, fuchsia and white. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using a color that I'm not really familiar with and it's a little bit outside my comfort zone, and that's pink. Well, in this case, fuchsia. <laughs> All of these paints have been mixed with Aussie Flow Troll two to one. So that's two parts Aussie Flow Troll to one part acrylic paint. So basically, I've mixed 100 mils of acrylic paint to 200 mils of Aussie Flow Troll. I've got my blowtorch here in case I get any air bubbles. And I've also got my one liter jug, which is what I'm gonna be doing the dirty pour into. Alrighty guys, now that I've told you what products I'm gonna be using, let's head over to the other table and then yeah, let's start going. Thanks guys. Alrighty, so we're back and we've got all our paints mixed and ready to rock and roll, you. And now all we gotta do is basically fill this jug and basically with a dirty pour I'm literally just going to be sort of pouring the paints in um, and not being so delicate so if I was doing a layered pour I'd be like pouring in the paints very slowly so then like there's a hundred percent sort of separation between each color but with a dirty pour um, I literally just pour them in and allow the paints to sort of mix a little bit, but not um, blend completely together. Alrighty. So I'm going to start with gold, then black, 
then pink, then white, and then so on until I've filled the jug or run out of paint. Whichever comes first. <laughs> Alrighty guys, wish me luck! You. So as you can see sort of here, like there's no sort of pattern to it. It was literally just pouring um, as I sort of went. And you'll notice that at the start, I put a lot of gold in. Um, and the second time round, I actually didn't put any gold in because there was still a lot of gold already in there. So I think what we've got here is, is pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to worry about putting a, um, a, a base coat down or a flood coat or anything like that down because there's well and truly enough paint in here to cover this 24 by 24 inch canvas. Alrighty guys, so now it's time to pour! Yoo! Okay, so you will notice that I've actually poured a little bit over the corners already. Um, just because I really want to make sure that I get the corners without having to sort of um, move too much of the paint to sort of go over the corner. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of stretch it out um, and not go all the way off the edges just at the start. I'm going to sort of bring it back from the edges as I get close to the edge and then when I get to the fourth corner then I will actually um, go over the edge. Alrighty guys, so I'm just going to leave that hanging upside down for a, for a couple of minutes just to sort of let all the paint sort of run out um, and yeah, we'll get into it. Yoo! I'm really loving the composition so far. So yeah, <laughs> you. Even the inside of the cup looks so cool, eh? <laughs> Leave that to dry, and I can make like a planet out of it. Use it as a skin. <laughs> How cool would that be? As a planet, you. Alrighty, so now it's time to start tilting it out. So we're just going to go slowly to the edge, but not all the way off just yet. And I'm okay that 
um, some of it's going to sort of roll over the top of, of, of itself as it's sort of spreading out. I'm okay with that. You know what, I'm actually liking what I'm seeing there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a little bit of flow extender there. So that's what sort of goes over the edge first.
Now I'm just going to get rid of some of the bubbles. Now, just here, if you can see, this is the this is the corner that I actually put some of the base coat um, down to sort of help it flow, and you can sort of see it sort of popping through. So what we're just going to do, we're just going to sort of manipulate it so it doesn't look so bubbly. Other than that little tiny little, those little um, bubbles that were sort of popping up and sort of bringing through some of the white. That's the only thing that I didn't sort of like about it. But the rest of the thing looks wicked cool! Yeah! <laughs> I'm doing the happy dance. I'm doing the happy dance. I'm doing the happy, the happy, the happy, the happy dance. You! <laughs> Alrighty, so now that we've actually got it up on um, the, the cups, we've got it raised up off the actual um, Lazy Susan, what do we got to do? That's right, we got to wipe our bottom. Yes, we do, because we don't want a dirty bum. No, we don't. And for those that don't know why we actually wipe the bottom of the canvas, see all that excess paint that was actually sort of on the, on the bottom of it? If I left that on there, that would have actually gathered weight and actually um, pulled the composition away from the top of the canvas. So I don't want to pour that on there, <laughs> on the actual painting itself.
But yeah, guys, I'm super happy with this one. Yeah, never in a million years did I ever think that I'd actually like a painting that the one of the main colors was pink. And I'll tell you what, I absolutely love this thing! Yahoo! And look at these hands! You know I've done something good when my hands look like this! Yahoo! <laughs> you! I've got to bring you down for a close-up because this thing looks wicked cool! Let's try to get out, out of the way of the lights. <laughs> I love this bit just here. This is wicked cool! And I love how it comes over the edge. This is so cool. Oh wow, that angle looks wicked! Yeah, baby, you! That's so cool. I actually really like it, that angle. I actually thought that this way would have been the better way to sort of hang it, but I actually really like it like that. Wow! That's so cool. Alrighty guys, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you all so, so, so much for joining me on this episode. I tell you what, I had so much fun doing this one because never in a million years would I have ever thought to use pink as a main colour. And I tell you what, I'm absolutely thrilled that I did because this is wicked cool! Yahoo! <laughs> Alright guys, one more time, thank you so, so, so much for joining me on this episode. If you like what you saw here today, please hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed and you feel like subscribing to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Then hit the little dark bell. That'll actually indicate when I upload new videos. And if you think any of your friends or family might like to see how I created this awesome, awesome, awesome piece, please forward it on to them. I'd love for them to have a look at it as well. All right guys, one more time. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me in this episode. And this is the fine art of distraction. <laughs>